Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Life is Better with Music with Gavin and Mitchell. Well, this is the final episode of season four, correct? We're I think so, yeah. Four, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah I think four. We're, we're wrapping it up finally uh, from the crazy back and forth between WGI and show choir. So we're finally at the end of WGI as well, officially. Um, I don't know if there's still like other circuits going around. I don't think so. I would assume no. not. Um, no. But some, but some things like show quiet, like sometimes there'll be additional shows after. So, but, and like with marching band, like you'll maybe have your states after indie, something like that. So, but this shouldn't be from what, to my knowledge. No, um, there's not from what I know. So before we get started, make sure you're following us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, subscribing to the channel, spreading the word. You know, show all your music friends, your art friends, everything, your dancers, show everybody um, kind of what our mission here is, you know, to connect everybody together, get a community getting built. Uh, but without further ado, let's look at these final wind and perk scores. Since we didn't, we kind of prepped for that last week and now we kind of get to see the wrap up of that. But after that, we will kind of be watching three of our uh, a favorite color guard show briefly, like a clip, perk and win. Just one overall that, you know, him and I both thoroughly enjoyed. And I think two of them we've watched before. So I don't know. I don't think we watched the perk one before, like on the podcast, at least. So these are the events. Sorry. 2023 scores. Okay. Which one do I need? Uh, the 22nd. All four of those. All four of these? Okay. And there then there's go. percussion like Scholastic A finals uh, twenty from the 21st. Okay. So for Independent Marching World, Pulse Percussion took it with a 98.513. And then wow. RCC, right underneath. That was... That's... <laughs> that is... Ooh. That's close. Wow. Huh. You, you know it's close when they start having like weird numbers and it's not by fives. Yes. Yeah. They are like point five one three point zero eight eight. Yeah. Um like point five one two five or something like that. That's what yeah, it is. some some weird numbers. Uh and then yeah, Music City, uh Mystique and United Percussion down here are pretty close as well. Um Overall, I mean, a pretty close show between a lot of groups. So mm -hmm. congratulations to everyone on a great show. You all, you know, slam yeah. the audience with, like, perf I wouldn't say, like, perfection, but, like, really good percussion WGI that everybody loves. So congrats to you guys. Uh, let's see. Now, this one. This is the one we're watching, right? Ayala. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, Scholastic Marching World Ayala High School took it with a 97.938. And then Chino Hills High School underneath that at a 97.2. Another really close show between a lot of these groups. Um, the breakoff point's really right here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of where it breaks off to where, you know, you got your top seven. Oh, and it's broken, or your top eight, sorry. Oh. No, uh, top seven. Not top seven, yeah, I was right, sorry. Uh, so yeah, top seven, and then eighth down, we got Broken Arrow High School, a part of that little break-off point, so. Yeah. Lo love you, Broken Arrow, but you're right there. You're right there. I mean, I, I like Broken Arrow show. It was okay. Personally, I, I liked it. I don't. I don't think it was better than some of these shows, but you know. Oh no, I no! It. I was... was definitely clearly the winner there. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, but Broken Arrow, I think. Yeah, I also really liked Vista Murrieta. Uh huh. Yeah, they had a good cool. show. Um, I like Dartmouth pretty. Well. I like their Dartmouth, show a lot. I saw a lot of stuff about Dartmouth. Dartmouth was cool. Yeah, that. Uh, uh, it was like an Edgar. Al show. It was an Edgar Allan Poe show. Yeah, um, yeah. Raven. Mm hmm And then 
obviously Avon High School. And third, they didn't they didn't dominate. You know, that, that one sounds, year they had what all that three? sounds tough. Yeah, that was last year and then now um now they don't. They got that's, third here and then that's, that's a darn shame. I mean that's 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 good though. That, that's that's still should, fantastic, uh, yeah. For Avon Again, like them getting third and these two, like what in card guard and percussion, that's a thing that they need to use to motivate themselves for next year. Mm-hmm. So to make themselves an even better indoor program, maybe this year kind of slipped out of their hands just a little bit. Yeah. Um, going from sweeping to you know third and third. Um, look yeah. at their wins place. Ah, uh, they place first by a long first, shot. Yeah, I was about to say their wins. They don't really have that much. Um, there's my problem with wins is that there's really no one on that level mm-hmm. that can really stand up to Avon unless like one of our top BOA bands threw out a WGI win group. Yep. Um, I mean, congrats to Avon for that, but it's kind of like how Tarpon is when we go to a local competition. Yeah, that's yeah, it's like when you're just dominating everyone it's just it's you know you're there for critique at that point that's how that's how carmel is at the early season regional usually when we usually Um, blow people out by like three or five points yeah and like sure like you're there for critique obviously you don't want to just not compete the whole season because you don't want critique yeah because even if you're dominating those people but it's just you know for tarpon like yeah i'd get excited for competition days there would be some points, like honestly, it was just kind of like, oh, I'm cool, not motivated to like, I don't really have someone I'm worried about. But yeah. and that's why like Tarpon does really well with Bands of America is because everyone, you don't know, you could be twelfth place. Yeah, like if Tarpon had a bad year, because we go every two years, we don't know, and that's you know Carmel and Avon will always be top of their line in Bands of America. Same with Broken Arrow. They they go they get they go a lot frequently, a lot more frequent than you know Tarpon does. So, but for independent marching open, um, or, I think we saw this one before. Meraki, Meraki, something Meraki. like that. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I didn't want. I didn't watch this. I uh, have group in I, specific. I did not either. But congrats to them with the ninety seven point zero eight eight. See, very close sh- shows again. Like that's the thing is like I can't say, oh, this show is you know clearly twice as better as this show. You know, just blew the show out of the park. Because you know I'm yeah. not. I can do the visual side of things. You know, visually I can see what's going on, but work wise, you know, that's kind of out of my pay grade. Yeah, you know, I'm not a perfect. You know, I'm not a perfect percussionist to where you know I can hear the differences exactly like they can i can hear differences but it's not like to the level you know a snare drum player could hear with a snare line per se but for scholastic marching open clover high school 97.863 uh again another very close show um i mean pretty much all close the only the biggest gap i really see is the jump from here to there and uh 90 to 88. So, I mean, again, like all these shows are. Yeah. Congrats to, congrats to, um, Brownsburg and Zionsville. Oh, yeah. And Plainfield Indicator. Franklin's down there as well. All the, you, you guys uh, saw that he just did like all the Indiana bands, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think congrats to everybody this weekend where this one. Uh, uh every finals one, teams. yeah. Every finals is what it was. Irondale combined schools for Scholastic Marching A 95.625. Congratulations to you. Noblesville. Noblesville. Vanderbilt. Um what show I saw a show in this category that I really liked. Which one was it? I, I do not was, know. I think it was Oak Grove. I think really? Oak Grove. I like. I think I like their show. I think I. I thought I had watched it. I gotta go back and make sure that it was their show. But there was a show in this group that I thought was 
pretty good. Like I liked the overall aspect of the yeah. show, but it wasn't. I I kind of felt like it wasn't going to place like all the way up there. Um, yeah. So I think it maybe it was Oak Grove, but no, I think I like their show a lot. I gotta pull that. Which one did I just click? I did this one. Scholastic, yeah. Here we go. Independent marching A finals. Modulation Z. O'Fallon. 97.05 or 96.05. Yeah, sorry. Not 97. Uh-huh. Um, congrats to you. I can see a lot more jumping down on this one. There's some jumps there and then eh, everyone in this category is pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Hmm. <laughs> By 0. 0.013. Dang. Okay. That would that would ignite the fire under under me. Oh, I'd be I'd be pissed. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, 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 that's a little too close for comfort. Yeah, I'd um yeah, I'd be it's like man, we were that close. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the win side of things. Again, congrats to all the percussion groups on a great season. Uh and congrats to the color guard groups again. I think everybody had, you know, a great season. Lots of improvement across the board. I think for a lot of groups, I think a lot of groups were happy with how the season went. And you know, a lot of changes and certainly in Perk and Guard, you know, Tarpon and Carmel were up there neck and neck. And then um, Avon, you know, didn't sweep this year, which, I mean, there's you got to have competition. I would never want to win every year. Never. No. I want to be able to have competition, be able to win. And then the next year, like, someone comes and beat me, like, okay, congrats to you. you know, but I next know, year, someone, I'm coming for someone you. Actually, someone actually came out and beat me. Exactly. Then. I mean, I think yeah, at that point, Carmel's probably the same way. It's like, huh. Yeah. Did we just get beat? Huh. <laughs> we just huh. get beat. <laughs> wow, we just got beat. Huh. Well, what? We'll get you. We'll get you all next year. Easy. Um, Easy clear. <laughs> um, so for the wins finals results, Scholastic A wins. Our first place is Bob Jones High School with a ninety three point eight five. Uh, independent A wins, uh, Eva Independent wins 85.225. Uh, Scholastic Open wins, Westfield High School, uh, beating out Miamisburg High School and Dartmouth High School. So, congrats to Westfield. Um, and if you don't know, that's the group that Mitchell worked with. It was, was it the, was it, uh, summer? Was that? Yeah, it was the summer. I was about to say the summer. Yeah, it was in the I was summer. Say, yeah. I yeah, I went to that one rehearsal when we were up for uh drum corps. Yeah. We went to see Colts and then we went to see Westfield. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um then independent open wins, LSM wins for eighty eight point two. Congrats to you. Scholastic World wins. Avon High School in first with ninety eight point three five. And then Cleveland High School in second with a ninety two point four seven five. That's that huge gap that Mitchell and I keep talking about that is almost impossible to close in <laughs> unless it's like a... Until someone does it. Yeah, until someone does it or, you know, one of these heavy hitter Bands of America groups just Decides makes a win make group. A wins group. Yeah. I think, you know... Um... I also want to say that, like, it's stupid. I will say, I'm going to be honest, I think wins needs a cap on how many people you can have on the floor. I th- yeah, I agree. Because Avon, their high brass is like the size of an entire group. And just alone, I think that's stupid because it's just such a disadvantage. Well, yeah, it's kind of that thing like... It's like with marching band. like But marching band's different where you have like your class A to cl- you know, class 1A. Yeah, you have class A, uh, 5A to 1A. You have all that stuff going on. And... So like it's the just not fair. I I don't think different. it's fair that Avon gets to have whatever, however many members. Exactly. Because in the marching band field, this. yeah, in marching band, you can always have like speakers to help with the sound amplification. Stupid. But with indoor, but with indoor, why? 
you're indoor. You're like, indoors. Yeah, you can have a speaker and to like you know make the sound look sound you know, a little cleaner. But I when just, you have that big of a group, yeah, it's it's, it's just a not disadvantage to other groups. It's just not fair. It's not fair to these groups that are. Well, yeah. You know, well, you got to think about it like this: if you guys had a win group, you guys would probably try to go to that same level Avon would to compete with Avon. Right. And then if Tarpon came in, Tarpon would be that smaller fish. Yeah. But they would pack out that sound. Yep. You know, whether it's like with uh, electronics, whether that's it's That's why just... I don't like... That's why I don't like how there's not a limit to however many performers you have. Mm-hmm. Because... Yeah, at that point, you might as well have the whole Avon marching band in there. Right. You might as well... Yeah, that's just dumb. Um... And, you know, not a knock on any of the performers. I just think it's a shame on, I don't want to say the directors either, but I think it's just stupid that they get away with, you know, having half their, having their high brass be the same size as an entire wins group. Well, you know, here's, here's my thing. And I have a resolution to it immediately is they want to offer the opportunity for people who want to do indoor wins to do it. And they don't want to cut them off. They don't want to be like, well, Two you groups. can't do it. Exactly. Two groups, Two groups. you can have, you know, JV you can have an open, exactly. You can have an open class um, wins group. If that's just like a color case. guard, just like a color guard. Exactly. Carmel exactly. has our world guard. We have our glass. We have Carbon our, does guard. too. And we don't, yeah, you know, like that's a lot of groups. Do, does. A lot of groups, like all the color you know, guards, Carmel, Carmel doesn't wants... go. Carmel's a guard doesn't go to Worlds. Mm-hmm. Their their journey ends at state, and you know well, I think that's kind of what Tarpon does too. Right, that would that would give your give your younger people a chance to develop. Exactly, and that's and, the point. It's the, the point of extra performance in the. I mean, they still do. They still do WGI like the indie regional and whatnot. Yeah. but they don't go to Worlds. But you know, like. It could be the same thing with Avon. You know, let's just say, you know, you make a second wins group. Okay, you know, they go through, you know, do their own thing in like Scholastic A or, or Open class. Mm-hmm. And then maybe, you know, like it's like BDB. Literally yeah. just have your feeder group because it's stupid how the fact of we see a six point gap. It's just not fair. I don't care, yeah. you know, and that's not a knock on the performers. I'm not going to knock the performers. But I I think it's a shame on both WGI and Avon in terms of I, again I feel like yeah I agree with you that there should be a cap. You're um, you're you're basically you you know when you show up it's just not fair. Yeah, and, well you know, that's why they they should just have a world group an open group just like color guards because just like with tarpon and what a lot of color guard groups do they'll usually have an open and a world. And I mean I know it's expensive. Gives, I know it's expensive, yeah. but you know you. If you're going to Worlds every year, you have enough money to do that. Yeah, and it's also not from Florida to Indy. It's from Indian. It's from Indianapolis. It's a two-hour drive to Dayton. Dayton. It's a two-hour so drive. It, it, and this is what I I'm saying is you know having that open group, they still get the performance experience of WGI. They can move into the world class group, and they still have that development in the off season to make the fall season better. So. But independent world wins, strike wins, which hey, look hands at the down independent. Is... Look at the second place independent open. Hey, the first audition camp for them is on November twenty fifth. For Halloween, eighty five point sixty five. They are they already posted. So if I do, if my memory does serve me correct, I don't know, man. And there's no age, there's no age cutoff. So you know, we we are sitting here big chilling. Um, we could uh. I don't know. I don't know. We may have to do Valhalla wins, but I don't know. Hands man. down, I think, uh, I think you this year. Gotta... Yeah, strike was strike was really good. I heard strike was really good. They're my favorite this year, hands down. Really, That's really staff. liked strike this year. Basically, the entire cadets visual staff is on staff at strike. Well, guess I love the cadets then. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> but. Okay, yeah, congratulations to uh, congratulations to all of those win groups on a stellar season. Congratulations, you know, to all. I did WGI. try to find a. I did try to find a Valhalla wins clip. I couldn't find one. Nah, I'm not worried about that. Uh, 
Again, congratulations to all the WGI groups on a great season. You all put your hearts out there. You know, a lot of people enjoyed the season, a lot of cool shows, a lot of unique shows. And congratulations to everyone who uh, took the medals this year. Congrats, uh, you know, props to you. But we're going to end this season with watching some of our uh, favorite clips, uh, some a favorite show from like percussion, guard, and uh, wins. And we've watched these two before. Mm-hmm. Let's start with the percussion with Ayala. Yeah. Cool props. Oh, I know. The design, I love that. The heat of the day would fit right here perfectly. Oh, I know. <laughs> Those props hitted them well. Yeah. That show in specific, I did get to watch like the end of it. Um, because I was like, you know, popping back and forth um throughout the day and like kind of yeah. like watching some stuff. But I did get I did get to see the end of theirs, and I I think one of their shows or their show overall was probably um in one of my you know top five shows. I really like their show overall because yeah, of the design their visual, you know, body movement and the overall aesthetic. visual technique. Yeah, it's just I've really enjoyed their show overall. So congratulations to them. Um but now Armal Color Guard. Congratulations to the all for winning. Yeah, they were fantastic. So it was very close. But they had a great show. They did. But in this clip I do see one of them drop. Uh-huh. I do see one of them drop in this clip. Just saying, Mitchell. <laughs> and it's like kind of when it's zoomed in, too. Ooh. It's like what, uh... It's like what happened in 21, where... Was it... Was the flow marching record in 21 for drum corps? Who was it? Was it flow yes. marching... It's when one of our baritone players got knocked on the head with a flag in the start of the show oh. and like knocked out and they zoomed in on it. Bro, that's that's bad. That's that's bad. It's terrible. And that nice relaxed feel. Oh, there it is. You saw it. All I'm saying is, you still got the gold. But I want to see if anyone in Tarpon dropped, though. Just saying. I want to see. I didn't notice anyone I watched Tarpon. But, and to be fair, I didn't notice this Karma one until uh, you sent me the link to this. Yeah. So, to be fair, I didn't notice it when I was watching them live, but 
No. Whatever. Again, congratulations to Carl. Their show. I really like their show. Yeah, it was overall. cool. It was in it was in my top five. It wasn't like you know, it oh. wasn't oh I it's caramel. I don't like it. I, I I did appreciate the competition with Tarpon though. I thought two great shows. Yes. Kind of the I, same I, color I, aesthetic going on. Yeah. Yeah. So but yeah, I think Carmel did a great job. Um so honestly it could it was anyone's show at that point. It was Yeah, it was either Carmel or Tarpon's show. So. You know, I would have been fine with either winning. Yeah, congrats to them. But now, yeah, Mitchell's gonna jam out to this one. Because... Hey, this is a this is a banger. This is I, I really did appreciate this show. We watched this one earlier in the season too. I, I just have, really like the show theme. They didn't have costumes and stuff the no. last time we watched them, right? Yeah, so no, they, they, now we get the kind of this full is circle. you know it's like traditional like what you would expect someone like in Havana to wear. I think that was probably honestly probably my second favorite show this year. I just, oh yeah, I just really liked Strike Wins. Uh, Strike Wins this year. They oh I love so, Strike. Strike yeah, was they, really good this year. Um, I have a couple of buddies actually in the group from when I marched cadets. Um, cool. They really well. Yeah, they did really well. So uh, next year we may be doing Bahala. Um, who knows? We got a we got a couple months to think about it. We got six months to think about it. Right? You said November. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so uh, we got half a year to think. You know, comment below if you think we should. We've never performed together. We've always kind of been rivals. No, we it's haven't. Hormel Tarpon, Cadets Ball, Boston, Boston, <laughs> Boston yeah. Cadets. Um, uh, because we met through a mel a mellophone chat, didn't there we? There was, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was like a huge mellophone chat, like group me. Yeah, and I remember like I like that. deleted it, like. But you had gotten like my contact before I had deleted it, because <laughs> it was just every day. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, frick?" Um. Uh, so it was just, man. Yeah. I kind of want to do indoor wins. It should be fun. We we I got, we should. Like, a, I want to do it at some point, and that's the I thing is, too. I've done you know drum corps. I've done bands of America. I got to do WGI. Yeah, and I'm. An hour from Dayton. I that's not a far drive for me. It's and two I have weekends off, so yeah. You no, know, what's what's Valhalla wins rehearsals? Weekends. It's I know, and that's what and that's what I'm saying. Licking Heights isn't happening. I got weekends off with my job. Like why not? I got a telephone. You know, let's go. Yeah, I can, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could we could definitely do that. We, we both get cut. cut. <laughs> Bro, if we both get cut, <laughs> like no, you guys, it's time. It's time to hang it up. Yeah, yeah, you're like, uh, uh-uh. Cornwall Tarpon. No, we don't take y'all. <laughs> no, no, we don't. No, uh, but no, no yeah, I, I'm honestly, I would highly consider it just because I do want to do yeah. WGI at some point. I do, yeah. If I, I do like get to do it with you, that's cooler. Oh yeah, exactly. That'd be fun. So, um, but yeah, but uh, yeah, I think overall. Great season for WGI. Again, sorry, we apologize kind of with how we kind of didn't have a, a full structure most of the season, but we kind of wrapped it in towards the end there. Just we trying figured to, it out. Yeah, trying to clean it up just because we didn't fully plan for that season. But here is 
what to expect next season until drum corps starts. Cause now we're in that off season of like everything. Um, so now WGI is wrapped up. So next week will be season five. The first episode is going to be kind of back to our humble beginnings. It's going to be kind of Mitchell's episode to just kind of just tell his musical story journey. Then we're going to dive into a little bit of jazz. Following week will be my musical journey and like my, you know, music coming up story, all that. And then we're going to kind of dive into classic, like classical music, you know, like ensemble, like sit down season, just because like, you know, jazz kind of shaped a lot of Mitchell's journey and, you know, classical stuff shaped a lot of my journey just with, um, you know, going back and forth from trumpet and French horn and stuff. But that's for next week or that's from two weeks from now. Um, and then after that, we're going to be, you know, having guests again, some hosts, introductions, hopefully, and just diving into topics again. And then, yeah, season six will be probably about July uh, when drum corps actually starts picking up and then we'll be in a basically a whole year of the podcast so which will i mean it's been a long year but it has been a long year yeah that's that's what to expect so without further ado i think i think that's it you got anything nope okay awesome well thank you guys for tuning in this week and we'll catch y'all next week in season five peace out